always fresh, every day. You're watching Fast Lane Daily. Too yeah, high. I don't, I don't think you need that. Save these for Derek when he's back. Thanks. Hey guys, what's going on? Alan Kay here. Derek D has jury duty today, so in an effort to stay fast and fresh, we're doing something special. As many of you know, our sister show, Garage 419, is approaching the end of their first season. On today's episode, Matt Farah gets to drive a new BMW 335i convertible on one of the most famous roads in the world, the Pacific Coast Highway. We enjoyed making it, and hopefully you'll enjoy watching it. Here it is. Finally here, Pacific Coast Highway and the beautiful California coastline. My ride of choice for the day, BMW 335i convertible. The twin turbo six, a manual transmission and a sport package. I'm gonna tell you guys why this car on this road under that sun makes me love to be a car guy. start this with a question for you. What is it about a road that makes it perfect? For some people, it's a wide open stretch of highway like the Autobahn where you can just top out whatever it is you're driving. For others, it's tight twists and turns. For me, there's a combination of factors. There's got to be wide open stretches, tight corners, scenic vistas, a lot of elevation changes, and glass smooth pavement. That's why I am in love with Pacific Coast Highway. I have to tell you, I can't believe it's been 27 years of life that I have not been here yet. And I wish it had been years ago that I first came here because this road is magnificent. There are twists, turns, bends, straights, places to pull off and make out with your chick, whatever you're into. And I am loving this 335 convertible, and I'll tell you why. First thing, the motor. 3 liter twin turbo, 300 horsepower, 300 pound feet of torque at as little as 1400 RPM. That means you can pretty much just leave it in a gear and use the entire power band without having any lag in power. If you think about it, some of the best sports cars in the past 20 years have been twin turbo 6s. Porsche 911 Turbo, Jaguar XJ220, Audi B5 S4. You've got the Toyota Supra, the Mitsubishi 3000 GT, the Nissan 300ZX, and of course the GTR. All twin turbo six cylinder engines. And the 335's 3 liter six absolutely does its heritage justice. It's got the power of an eight, the fuel economy of a six. I mean, I've been beating the hell out of this car all day on windy altitude changing roads, and I'm still averaging 20 miles to the gallon. It's pretty unbelievable. The most noticeable difference about the new 335 versus the last generation 3 series convertible is the replacement of the soft top with a retractable hard top. Versus the coupe, it adds about 400 pounds, but when the top is up, the structural rigidity is almost identical to the coupe, whereas the old soft tops would flex like crazy. It's a huge improvement. As you can expect, BMW's sports suspension and steering rack, mwah, moto bene, they're perfect. They're exactly the kind of thing I'd want to have on a windy road like this. This car right here 
as it sits, $59,000. Now, I know that's a lot of money for a 3 Series that doesn't have an M on it, but think about this. Last generation M3 convertible was more expensive, and this car performs just as well. So, we are getting something. Hey, let's move it on. Bob Shubin, hey, yeah, bad. A lot of things here, a little gloomy, a little doom and gloom. Listen, we're at a car show, not a funeral. It's like a whale smiling at you. I mean, I like the car, but I mean, look, it's just like, it's like, a, it's like this, it's like, it's like. What about whale tail? I like whale tail. Always fresh, every day, Fast Lane Daily. It's a fantastic daily driver that makes a great canyon carver on the weekends. Is it a supercar? No, but it's not supercar price either. It's a car you could live with every day comfortably, sit in traffic with, drive on the weekends. It's not exactly a track star, but that's what the M3 is for, right? Is it the perfect car for the perfect road? For me, on this day and under this sun, I'm gonna have to say I made a wise decision. Until next time, I'm Matt Farah. You can find me at the Pacific Coast Highway, top down on a Beamer. one of the best episodes ever produced by the, thank you, one of the best episodes ever produced by the Garage 419 team. Be proud, guys. Okay? I'm okay. I can do this. You sure? I, I can. You okay? I'm good. Okay. Now, I encourage all of you to go to garage419.com and, and leave comments. We, we read every comment posted. Tell us what you think about the show and what you want to see in future episodes. Well, that's it today for Fastlane Daily. Tune in tomorrow when we tell you how you can keep your bathroom bowl daisy fresh. You okay? Always fresh every day. <laughs> Next New Networks needs your vote. Your favorite shows are up for a People's Voice Award. Best Remix, Best Variety, How To and DIY, and Best Editing. Voting closes April 30th. Mm -hmm.